For those with diabetes, some can experience what's called the dawn phenomenon. The dawn phenomenon describes an abnormal early morning increase in blood sugar. UCSF Fresno endocrinologist Dr. Varsha Babu breaks it all down for us. I'm joined today with Dr. Varsha Babu, endocrinologist, also with UCSF Fresno. Thank you for joining me today. Sure. So let's chat about diabetes. Mm -hmm. Tell us, uh, as we begin here, exactly what diabetes is. So diabetes is a very common condition, and if you look at the data, like from in Central Valley, it's heavily been affected by diabetes. So diabetes means you have too much blood sugar, meaning your sugar in your lab, in your bloodstream is very high, so the blood sugar is not processed, and that gives you complications. So talk to us about this diabetes dawn phenomenon that we're hearing about. What exactly is that? In a simple way, how we explain dawn phenomenon is, let's say, for example, um, a diabetic patient is going to bedtime, and let's say the patient is testing blood sugar. So let's say, hypothetically, the blood sugar is 120, okay? and in dawn phenomenon, the patient is not eating, drinking, the patient is going to bed. Right. When they get up in the morning, the blood sugar will be 150 or 180, okay? So that is what is called dawn phenomenon. So they have that a rise in the blood glucose level overnight, mm -hmm. even though the patient is not eating or drinking. And so what causes that if the patient is not even awake? Mm -hmm. You know, they're not eating, they're not drinking, they're sleeping, so what causes it? So there are different mechanisms um, going on at night when we are sleeping. So usually when we are sleeping, our energy requirement is very, very low. So at that time, usually kind of our body shuts down, okay, and around two to three o'clock in the morning, so that is kind of our wake up time, okay? So at that time, all these, there are other hormones in simple ways, I mean, I would try to call them wake up hormones, okay? There are hormones like cortisol, growth hormone, then hormones glucagon and epinephrine. So these are the four hormones which are kind of our wake up hormones. So they start going up in levels around two to three o'clock in the morning. So these hormones are anti-insulin, meaning they are counter-regulatory hormones. They work against insulin. So in a diabetic patient, that insulin production and insulin activity to control the blood sugar is already faulty. On top of that, when you have these hormones rising, those patients are not able to regulate the blood sugar very well. So that's why the hormones go up, the blood sugar go up, go up because it's counter-regulatory to insulin. So how can you prevent this? So there are like, you know, a couple of things we can do in this situation. So one thing I usually tell my patients is absolutely avoid a carbohydrate snack. Carbohydrate means anything with starch, do not take it at bedtime unless they are having a low blood sugar. That's a total different issue. They have to treat the low before they go to bed. Do a protein snack, avoid carbohydrates, and make sure if they are on metformin, you know, if they can tolerate metformin, obviously the, the patient should be able to tolerate the drugs too. Then if they are on insulin, they can check with their primary to adjust the insulin levels at bedtime. 